So Jesus said to them, What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. To a child in the dark Homeless one in the park Not attracted to pleasant places He was drawn to broken hearts and lonely faces Passage in the Bible that speaks to me as no other passage speaks to me. First John 3, 17 and 18. Listen to these words. If you have this world's goods and you know that your brother is in need, your sister is in need, and you hold on to your wealth in spite of the fact that that person is in need. Here's the question. Listen to it carefully. How then can you say you've got the love of God in your heart? Oh, we're an easy talking people. I got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've heard it. But it doesn't cut the mustard. Jesus in your heart, unless you're ready to take your resources and, and give to feed the poor. You say, what do you want to do, make us all into Mother Teresa's? Yes. People, we think we're Christians because we don't booze it up or sleep around or curse. Big deal. This is the measure on Judgment Day. I was hungry, did you feed me? Naked, did you clothe me? Sick, did you minister to me? A stranger, did you take me in? And I know what you're going to say, but Lord, I never slept around. But I was hungry. Lord, I never boozed it up. But I was hungry, says Jesus. Lord, I never went to see those dirty movies. I was hungry. And that as much as you failed to do it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you failed to do it unto me.